Today I want to show you one of the most classic demos in all of physics. See, if I sit in this chair and I hold these masses out to my sides and start spinning, when I pull the masses inward, I speed up. When I let my hands back out, I slow down again. So pull them in, I speed up, let them out, I slow down. And I'm dizzy already. Now the real question here is, why do I speed up as I pull my arms in. Now the typical explanation for this problem goes like this. Angular momentum is the product of two quantities. The first being angular velocity, which is a measurement of how fast something's rotating. And the second quantity being a rotational moment of inertia. That is a measurement of how hard it is to get something to spin or to stop it from spinning. So when the person holding masses out to their side sitting in the chair is spinning, Spin, oh, find your balance, find your balance, there it is, spinning. As they pull those masses inward, the rotational moment of inertia decreases. And as a result, the angular velocity must increase in order to conserve that angular momentum. Okay, gonna vomit. Whew. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with this explanation. It's just that angular momentum, angular velocity, and especially the rotational moment of inertia, are concepts which are constructed through math from much simpler physical ideas, like force, mass, and displacement. And it's through those simpler concepts that I want to explain intuitively what's happening in this demonstration. See, the angular momentum explanation allows us to calculate just how much I'll speed up as I pull these masses inward. But what it doesn't do a good job of is explaining why I'm speed up as I move those masses to a smaller radius. Now lots of people, including myself the first time I looked at this problem, reason that since the masses are moving at a certain speed, as you pull them inward, they want to keep moving at that same speed, only they're going around a circle of a smaller radius. <sighs> Dizzy again. The issue there though, is that something incredibly unexpected happens here. The masses, as I'm spinning and pull them inward, don't keep moving at a constant speed. They actually speed up. Now to simplify what's happening here, let's recreate this demo with just a single spinning mass. So this is a ball connected by a string that runs through a tube. And I can spin this ball in a horizontal circle, no different than the masses when I was sitting in the chair. But when I pull on the string, I make the circle that the mass is spinning in smaller. Now looking at this from above, the ball revolves with a certain period. And when I pull the ball inward, the ball takes less time to go around. But here's the important part. If the ball kept traveling at the same speed, then it would travel around in a circle half as large in half the time. But it doesn't. After being pulled inward, the ball's actually moving faster. And that increase in the speed of the ball can be explained not just with the math of angular momentum, but also by looking at this through force and energy. You see, if I was to just take the ball on its own and just throw the ball horizontally. See, when I throw this ball horizontally, it has a certain velocity. But as it accelerates downward due to gravity, it speeds up. And to look at this through the lens of energy, as the ball moves through the air, the force of gravity does work on the ball, increasing its kinetic energy, thus increasing its velocity. And going back to the spinning mass, we see the same thing. As I pull on this string, I do work on the ball, increasing its energy, thus causing it to go faster. And things work the same way with both the ball on the end of a string and the spinning mass. They have a velocity in one axis, but as they're pulled in another direction, they speed up. And to look at this in a different way, as these masses are spinning around, they have some kinetic energy. But as I pull them inward, I do work on the masses, thus increasing their energy, or really making them go faster. So at the heart of this demo, what's happening isn't just a conservation of angular momentum. It's also work being done as I pull these masses inward, increasing the kinetic energy and therefore the velocity of everything that's rotating. Now, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. And if you want to see the math behind not only the angular momentum, but also the work and energy transfer that's occurring in this problem, I'm going to post that up in another video. But on that note, that's all for now. It's been in. Spinning. Oh, going the other way is hard. Oh.